Lightning. Excuse me, lady. Do you mind if I have a word with you? Well, this is a shock. A tourist? You could say that. Hate to break it to you, but there's nothing worth seeing in this desert. There are some ruins out there, but they ain't the type that any decent folk should go to. Why not? Are they dangerous? They're just breeding grounds for monsters. Well, that and home to some legendary treasure or something. The vessel that'll summon the souls of the dead and open the door to the afterlife. They call it the Holy Clavis. A summon souls, you said? That's promising. Ah, bunch of nonsense if you ask me. Not that the bandits or the Order will ever give up on it, though. They've been searching for that thing forever. I don't recommend diving into those ruins for some fairy tale. Not if you don't want those bandits on your back for invading their territory. Thanks for the warning. Why don't you find those bandits' headquarters and see what they know? I'm this has turned into a real fool's errand. I came in with a head full of dreams, but empty of sense. Thought I'd start a new market in the desert. And just look at me now. Hey. Are you part of Monoculus? Not that it matters to me. Buy something, would you?
darkness. Let me see it. Time to repent. Pray for the dead. evil. If you can, I will fight evil. Evil has a price. My tears fall into the chaos. Tears fall into the chaos. Fate is what it is. Savior's got a job. Destiny is destiny.
Napier's got a job. Dawn. Has it though? It could still shine out upon the sea of chaos or show travelers the way. I think that light is needed more than ever in this kind of desert. You may be right about that. Light can bring people hope, just like you do, Lightning. a branch of the famous Tobias' store you know and love. You do know Tobias. He is the preferred merchant of the great bandit gang Monoculus. Out here in the desert, he's in a class of his own. settlement here in the desert. Hopefully, you'll be able to rest up there. But it seems like it's the bandit's base. They may not exactly welcome a stranger like you. Well, considering how they've been tracking me, I don't think I'll need to introduce myself. So, you noticed. Yes, it looks as though they've been keeping an eye on you ever since you set foot in their desert. Let them. We'll meet face to face soon enough. You're close to the gang's settlement. If you're feeling lost, try checking the signposts that you find here and there. Isn't this the kind of magnifying glass that appraisers use? It looks like it's pretty worn. It does look rather old, but it seems like it's been taken good care of. You're nearly to the settlement now. I'm sure that you're looking forward to a bit of rest. But I wouldn't let your guard down. So don't be surprised if I wake up at knife point, is that it? Fine by me. It'd give me an excuse to beat some information out of them. You do? The buildings here are ancient structures from another age. I don't know whether to call this a town or a fortress. But it's definitely unique. I'd say definitely criminal is closer. At least there's not much of a dress code, other than looking like a thief. Mm. 
what are you doing? Nothing, Nutch. Just gilling my spots for hall to ear. Dutter do ewing, wumass. Hope, can you interpret this for me? It seems to me like it's some kind of code or cipher, but I don't have enough data yet to break it. Can't you speak normally? Show knit. <sighs> of course I can. Look, I don't have any info about any treasure, if that's what you're looking for. I've got no interest in it. Boofad to you. Doesn't seem like many people choose to live out here unless they're after treasure. So, what's your story? Neath be Lee. The world's going to end soon anyway, right? If that's the case, what's the point in having dreams or working hard? So, sitting around waiting for the end was the best idea you could come up with. Nice way to spend your last days. Well, yeah, it's boring, but nothing I do now makes any sort of difference anyway, so why bother? <sighs> no matter how much I might unravel mysteries of the past, none of these bandits care. They don't even listen to my findings. <sighs> Trowin even nies to Unsterdand. I get that it's hard to stay motivated when no one appreciates what you do. I'd say so. If you get it, why are you giving me a hard time? Just leave me alone. I'm done with all of it. I ditched all my equipment in the desert. If you find any of my old things, they're yours. Take them away with you. I think I may just do that. They deserve better than getting tossed aside by some sulking, spoiled kid. Fake them, Ten. Um, speaking of equipment... What is it? Don't tell me you actually found something. Is this it? What you threw away? Uh, how did you... Dad's loop. Dad? Never mind that. Just give it back to me. Now! You want it back? Who was it that told me I was welcome to whatever I could find? I'm not sure I want to give it up. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk if I have to. My dad was a great bandit, okay? But he was also a great appraiser. He spent his whole life studying the relics in these ruins. So he wanted you to follow in his footsteps? No... It wasn't like that. Not at all. He taught me everything he knew so that I could become a scholar. He wanted me to be able to unravel the mysteries of the past. But then he disappeared. Never made it home. No one ever found any clue as to what happened. He left me, and took my only chance at becoming a scholar with him. Didn't have much choice. I could appraise or starve. Is that why you threw away his tools? In order to spite your father? It was stupid. I was stupid. I should have just done what my dad wanted and kept working to be a real scholar. But he's gone, and it's too late now. This world is nearly done for. But if I'm ever reborn, I promise I'll take things a bit more seriously. I'll give it my all. I'll study hard, and I'll become a great scholar and solve all kinds of mysteries. Or maybe that's too much to ask for. You should dream big, and the first step to making your dream come true is believing it can come true. Don't barter. Hey, what's with the sourpuss? You don't have a complaint about my fine assortment now, do you? It's good enough, I suppose. Go on! I don't need some uppity tourists making demands. Go somewhere else if you don't like my wares. Go on, get! If you insist, I will. You're not the only merchant around. That's where you're wrong, Missy. Far as I know, this is the only shop in the desert. There was one other fella, but he couldn't cut it. Lost all his drive to sell out here. When that happens, well, that's the same as death to a salesman. So? What made him give up? Damn fool. He bet his dreams on the desert, that's what. Poor old Ramon. 
He thought he'd make a real name for himself out here, selling to adventurers. But in the end, he lost sight of his dream and his business. Sounds good for you, though he doesn't seem like he was much of a rival anyway. Shut it! You don't know the first thing about him! Didn't mean to offend you. What's there to get so worked up about anyway? N nothing Not a damn thing. It's just like you say. He was nothing at all. It's not like he'd ever been a threat to my business anyway. <laughs> no, not Ramon. I'm done talking about him. If you want to know more, ask him yourself. You'll find him near that old camp in the giant sandbox. He was a pretty strange guy, wasn't he? But if he's really the only merchant around like he says, then I guess you'll have to count on him for help. Unless, of course, you want to find... Light, there's something I think you should know. Something important. The Savior has to return to the Ark once a day. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have to present your Aradia to God to slow down the destruction of the world. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, he'll be transported up here to the Ark at 6 a.m. sharp. Don't forget that, okay? nearly six. I'm sure you know what that means. No need to tie up any loose ends, though. Time stands still in this world while you're up in the Ark. It's a pretty handy system, isn't it? Welcome! Come on in and take a load off. 